slowly, slowly, silence is appearing in this big hall. People are cleaning, packing up their stuff, carrying things out. And they have the last talks with friends and colleagues. We are here at the Danish Massage Championship of 2023. And I am very happy to have two guests here at my table. They look a little bit worn because they had a very, very busy week and especially a very, very busy weekend. But they have agreed to come and talk a bit uh, unprepared with me about what happened the last two days. So here on my right side, I have a guest. Can you please tell a little bit about yourself and present yourself? Yeah, my name is Jeppe Tingbjerg. I am the founder and CEO of the International Massage Association and of course also a massage teacher. And here, uh, last but not least, on my left side, I also have another guest. Can you also present yourself a little bit, say a bit about something about yourself? Hello, hello, Soren. Hello, Denmark. Mm -hmm. I'm Constantina Macri, one of the world champions of IMA, Denmark. And I'm a freelancer. I have my own uh, company in Greece. I'm Greek, Spa on Wheels by Constantina Macri. I'm a teacher and trainer. Oh, very nice. And I would like to hear a little bit, what have you been up to this weekend? If I start with you, yeah, but what have, uh, how, what have you been doing here the last two days? Yeah, we have had the eighth Danish Massage Championship this weekend. And uh, that means that we have approximately 50 massage therapists competing of the title as a Danish champion. Mm -hmm. And uh, Constantina, what have you been doing these two days? What have you? What was your role here? Uh, my role was uh, to have a very, very nice, interesting class with the Danish students. And apart from my class, I have to be judged for the Danish championship. And it was like a very, very, very interesting to see new techniques and see all these new students very interesting about everything. Okay, yes. I have a little stupid question for both of you so we can start yes, a bit here. <laughs> um, when people are hearing that you are, uh, that you are massage th therapists, what is the first thing that they, that they ask you? Oh my God, my leg is in pain. Can you fix my <laughs> leg? Yeah, and for me, it's always uh, something we hear a story of all the injuries during the years. Yeah, the accident and the injuries and all. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, can I can. That? Can you fix that? Can you fix my neck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Okay. Um, I also just want to explain why we are speaking English here, actually. Um, there's a lot of uh, teachers, there's a lot of judges in the Danish championships here, and a lot of the students are from other countries than Denmark, and we, we speak English simply so they can also enjoy this podcast. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Danish championship. Reflections on the last two days. Jebe. Oh, I am very pleased um, because the Danish championship has developed uh, we now have not only the, the categories and the rounds where they are competing, but we also have amazing workshops and classes as well as demonstrations. So it is uh, a way to, uh, to find inspiration. And Constantina, what will you remember after this weekend here? Yeah? Wow, once again, what I will take with me. Uh, I learn from my students as they learn from me and this was very very important for me every time I learn and I I speak to them about this I said every time I learn new things and I take it with me you know we learn from each other we exchange knowledge and passion mm -hmm. <laughs> to to be in a competition here um, there is there's a lot of people massaging at the same time. There's people walking in and out. There's audience. There's maybe video or background music. So all in all, this is a quite different environment than such everyday massage treatments. Um, what can you use such a competition for? What do you learn as a participant? Well, you, you get stressed. It's true. It is a different uh, kind of experience. But you also need to be 
cool and, and, and be in the moment for the client, even though that there is noise around you. Exactly. So it's, um, I'm, I'm, I think it's, a, and, and I heard one of the participants today, uh, one of the winners actually, he told me that every time he go to this championship, he actually improved his uh, therapy uh, the week up to. So he is actually more focused when he's doing his treatments uh, in his clinic. Exactly. They, they come uh, when we had the ceremony. Uh, they came afterwards to ask us, all of us, and mainly my students, that uh, please, can you give me my, your advice before I leave? So why I should, uh, what I should do to be better? So I said, okay, you have to correct your flow, you have to correct your posture and this and that, and checking new techniques and uh, what do you like to do more. So they become better instantly. Mm -hmm. And you raise this passion and fire to learn more and uh, grow faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Constantina, I now put on some other music for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very calmly. Because you're not finished um, teaching. Wow. I know it was some busy days. I thought I finished. <laughs> <laughs> We need a little bit of advice mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. Um, we just talked about how, um, yeah, how difficult it is maybe to focus when there's a lot of people around you and that you have to learn this. Um, but I would like you to maybe make a little teaching for us what you do in your everyday praxis when, um, when you get a client um, that, yeah, when you get a client that you want to give a massage. How, how do you welcome them? How do you start uh, and how do you create the atmosphere? Usually, uh, like uh, every day, it's uh, a small war around my world. So I have always to run. I have to be very stressed. But the time that I'm arriving to give a therapy, it's like I start my personal meditation. And I just focus to honor me. And I enter the space and I try to create the perfect environment. Through this perfect environment, for my receiver, my guest, my client, I can calm down and I can relax in the same time. This is my biggest secret. I focus so much and I get so concentrated and I'm relaxing through this therapy. And this is the teaching I give. No matter what, you have to focus and relax and make it totally personal through your therapy. So what I do is to start creating the perfect environment as much as I can with uh, the circumstances. So I put candles, even I have a small uh, fake candles, of course, if you don't have time to open the fire and a normal candle. So you have a small, nice environment decoration. You fix a very nice table. You check to have all your tools. You put nice music and you just calm down. Many times I sit on the floor and wait for them. Oh, yeah. They caught me many times sitting down on the floor, close my eyes, and I was trying to get down my poles and get ready for them. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my everyday reality. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's yeah. it sounds very nice to enter yeah. a room and your therapist is seated on the floor, actually. E exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting ready for them and for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but do you have any good advice? How do you how do you start uh, therapy to get into the right mood? Actually, I uh, was thinking about it when you, uh, you spoke about it, Constantina. Um, I don't give so many treatments anymore. But what I was thinking about, um, you can actually train to uh, to swap situation. I have many uh, situations. Uh, today, for example, my job was to be a host. It was uh, teaching. Mm. And now I do a podcast. And I've also done uh, some filming myself. So I switch character Correct. and job. And you can actually train to focus on the task. Mm. Um, I think I've been... Uh, I'm very good at that now. It's it, it takes multitask. time. To, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little difficult. Well, he became multitask. <laughs> yeah, I, you you have to learn it because, of course, I want to be the best in the situation. So when I'm a therapist, I want my full focus on the client. Exactly. Yeah, and it and it's you can actually train it. Mm -hmm. I, I I think. 
he he had to because we became very demanding since we are participants and we won and now we're teachers and uh, uh, we want to improve as judges and everything. He had to be multitask. Yeah. He had to help us and uh, raise the bar and be better every year and he made it. Mm -hmm. This is my second home. <laughs> and I like the people to know that. Yeah. Now comes a question that you both have heard I think quite a lot, but I ask it any anyhow. Um, what are the now first? How many years, Jeppe, that have you been doing this uh, competitions here? The first uh, championship we made was the Danish Massage Championship in 2016, mm -hmm. and every year we have done it, uh, and then we have had uh, five, and very soon six world championships, as well as many, many, many other. Uh, international championship mm. around the world mm. uh, <laughs> since 2016. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now come the question that I actually wanted to ask. Do you have you seen any changes over the years uh, and um, what trends? Oh yeah, has been For happening sure. over the years. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I can also answer it. Of course, we have seen something, and especially uh, from the beginning, we saw things that we have never seen before because there has not really been a really world championship before uh, so people from mongolia and usa yeah. and everybody peru from yeah, peru America, everywhere they came to uh, to us and then it just exploded this inspiration um so I, but to answer your question the, the future massage therapist the massage therapist of tomorrow will be a combination of the touch of course but also uh, mobilization and joint mobilization and bringing wellness into every treatment really and also giving the client a new experience if you can handle all those things then you are a great therapist mm -hmm. exactly i totally agree uh, we raise the bar it's mm -hmm. too high uh, i won 2018 and i went sky high very fast it was too much for me start running left and right for proposals and teaching mm -hmm. courses and trips. 2018, we come back as judges and uh, approved teachers of IMA, and we saw like 250 it was only there, and I don't know how many others online, and it was like, wow, therapists from all over the world, I would didn't know what to see first, so many uh, different uh, treatments and uh, how they handle the receiver, it was like unique. They tried to mix, to impress us, to give us something new. It mm -hmm. was like, wow. Mm -hmm. The people wanted to see that. They get thirsty to see something new, to see the, the future. And we always say, uh, you know, choose the best. As uh, Mr. Yepe said, the one that combine the best, the perfection, you know, that reach a little bit of perfection. Mobilization, stretching, mm -hmm. deep tissue, relaxing in the same time everything a good balance a good posture it's so many big it's a big criteria mm -hmm. when they ask me uh, tell us uh, why not me or how can I be it's a big criteria I say to them it's a huge criteria that you have to think every time mm -hmm. have, have it always um, been uh, where, where did you start has it always been here in where we are now or yeah, a little bit uh, of, uh, of massage championship history, Jebe. Yeah, um, the world championship has always been in Copenhagen and there are many reasons for this. First of all, it was here it was born, but it was it's also because of uh, it's convenient for us. Um, we have all the, all the rooms and, and we know how it works, and insurance and many, many, many things. Um, and of course, we have talked about to bring it out to the world but uh, no one really has been able to handle this big event uh, yet. Uh, maybe we will we'll go some uh, someday, but for now it, it will be in Copenhagen in Denmark. Yeah, I, I like it. I don't <laughs> want to change the place. <laughs> I love Denmark, and uh, I had so I have so many memories, and especially my first time was like wow, like a kid in a Luna Park. Wow, what are they doing? Who are they? So I don't want to change the place. To be honest, I love it. It has a little bit the, the, um, to do with what we just talked about. Yeah, but if you would um, have all wishes free, or both of you actually, all wishes free, I mean, the, the, the massage lotto, lottery, 
what would you what would you do with this this price in the future for massage? Yeah, if I start um, this year, for ex- first of all, we have Corona. Uh, yeah. Once or two, <laughs> so um, I would like to uh, to have an open, free world where actually we, everybody can come. Um, and um, I'm saying it also because uh, uh, this, this year and last year we had some visa problems also, mm. and it's a sad thing that some countries cannot participate live. They were able to participate online live. It's not the same. It it's but it's not the same, same no, because these guys need to be uh, to be here to feel the, the vibes and atmosphere, mm-hmm. and uh, the, to be part of the community. And when you go online live in your clinic in Iran yeah. or whatever it was, <laughs> then it's it's not it's the not same. The same yeah. So I, I wish I- an open world where we can meet um, every year really and and and, and share our skills. So it's some sort of a free travel for all massage therapists <laughs> yeah. uh, visa that Please. you <laughs> that you need. Okay, um, if you want to become a good uh, massage therapist, do you, the two of you, have any recommendation? What, what? Sh- I mean, you have already been talking about it. Um, do you have any recommendations? What should you do? Um, yeah, any good recommendations? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Uh, as I used to say, a perfect therapist, okay, as mm-hmm. much as we can, has to exercise, eat well, meditate, have a, a wonderful physical um, statement. He has to have stamina. We sweat a lot, we get tired. I mean, you have to be strong. And this power that you have inside of you, you can transfer it to the body. Otherwise, we cannot survive especially when we work a lot every day. So yeah, you need a good physical condition, relaxing mind, and you can be the best, of course, education and schools, and but the most of all is to love yourself. So if you take care of yourself, you can do miracles. And if I can add, I totally agree, of course, and that, of course, the craft itself, we need to learn, but you also need some kind of empathy. You want to help other people, exactly. so so uh, so if you can combine the craft and the empathy, then you are on your way. The criteria goes very big, and the bar is too high. So, if they want to come in, a, they have to separate in their minds what is championship, what is competition, because this is professionals, and you have to compete to each other in a good terms always, love and union. I used to say. Uh, but yeah, it's a competition. So you have to to get your criteria in your mind and be good at that in order to come and compete. Otherwise, you can just come for fun and see your friends and that's it. Mm-hmm. Have some videos and photos. <laughs> <laughs> competition is always a competition. This is the meaning. Yeah, I see that. Otherwise, it would not make any sense, I guess. Exactly. Do you here have any, um, do you have any shout out, any thanks to to people who has been around here for this competition or yeah, yeah. but yeah. I can there are so many oh. I can tell you how it began I will try yep. to do it slowly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this all this began because I was uh, bored I need inspiration as a teacher school owner so I made a master and now he cannot stop no, no, I cannot stop now no. he can say, I have yeah. to cut something because I didn't I have to cut yeah. something <laughs> the thing is that uh, we I did a master class with Danish students yeah and these people helped me in the beginning, and I will always remember this. And then when the world came to us, we met people like Constantina, who uh, really has promoted the Mossas profession and, and has helped us raise not o- only the level of massage, but also the awareness of massage and our craft uh, around the world. So Small parenthesis. Mm-hmm. We, we many people, and I didn't know that, they get uh, not embarrassed, but they have a difficulty to say, I'm a masseur, you know, I give massages. They they was thinking, uh, wha- what is your occupation? Ah, I'm a massage therapist. Ah, you give massages? Really? You give? It's how many people they misunderstand this occupation that is totally incorrect. Wha- wha- what do they think? I don't know, but uh, they think that, uh, okay, it's like, uh, I don't know, you give massages, you're not a lawyer, you're not a doctor, you're not a... Mm. Okay, it's totally misunderstanding. 
you are a healer and you have high level education this is you need to provide so we try to change their minds and we try to make the quality to give the quality so it's clear for everybody mm -hmm. if i imagine uh, sitting in the far far future now and looking back at the 21st century i think i will laugh about that uh, massage and uh, what we call the, um, all these these therapies are not a part of the medical system do you think that uh, that this will i know i know I, I you're both uh, i don't know if you can speak entirely free on this but um, do you think this will ever happen that uh, that we call that that massage will be a part of the the normal european health system absolutely absolutely it always is, it, it, it already is actually okay because exactly. uh, for some of the uh, countries the universities they are educating mm -hmm. massage therapist so it, it it is coming and it is growing we just need mm -hmm. some countries to raise up the level and uh, the mm -hmm. countries themselves have of course to um uh, choose it yeah and mm -hmm. by doing all these competitions we make awareness of how professional and how serious we are in this with this craft mm -hmm. exactly how serious we are this is i wanted to say before so now also in the universities and uh, private colleges um they um educate them uh, as to be to give a massage between or with the studies the medical studies they have to give a massage Mm -hmm. Even the doctors that I meet, all of them, they, n of course, they're not all good. They say, oh my God, I'm not so good in the massage, you know, but I study I'm a ca for cardiology, heart uh, co conditions, I'm a doctor, pathologist. So they have, they put them in the school to train with a massage, to have an idea what is the, to touch the organs, the body, human body, how to connect mm -hmm. with the receiver, with the patient. Very important to have empathy. I fade down the music here now because I have a look at the watch. <laughs> I also look into my two guests' eyes here. They are, uh, they are, yeah, there's still some flames <laughs> there, but uh, nice. I also look at their bodies and um, I think, I think that they need something to eat. I also need, uh, think that they need something to drink. Maybe they need a shower after such a long day. <laughs> so I just want to say, thank you for coming here and uh yeah thanks for coming here and i'm slowly pleasure. slowly ending this this little talk it was a pleasure oh, <laughs> it's really a pleasure thank you so much soren thank you so much i wish you good luck with everything and we'll see you soon yeah see you soon <laughs> thank you constantina Macri and jebe tingbier for this nice talk I think that we touched many interesting subjects. And thanks to IMA for making all this possible. And also thanks to you for listening to this podcast about the Danish Massage Championships of 2023. We promise you that we will make more podcasts about massage, nerdy massage, many great performances and achievements have started on the couch of a massage therapist. My name is Søren Dø, and remember, the future is in our hands. <laughs>